Hey, I'm C Dinky. And in this video, I'll be going over a bunch of candy locations so you guys can farm up all of these candies in preparation for all of the new elemental weapons coming into Grounded 1.4. We will be going all over the candy locations that naturally spawn in the game, such as the sour wormholes, the mint shards, the spicy shards, and the salt shards. And please be warned, some of these locations do not respawn once you have broken them. Now there are going to be a few things we're going to need before we start this video. What we're going to need first is either, we, this is optional by the way, we can have the entire antlion set or just aphid slippers if you guys want to run around quicker in the yard. Once again, this is not needed if unless you want to sizzle in some areas. But what we are going to need is we are going to need to have a black ant shovel. And we are also going to need at least a tier 2 or higher hammer as we are going to need a tier 2 hammer to farm up a bunch of these candies. And now if you guys want to go ahead and farm up sour wormholes, these are the tier 3 candies. So make sure you have a black ox hammer equipped. So now we have all the gear acquired. Let's go ahead and start the video. And the very first location right next to the spacer is going to be right here at this ice cap mint. You're going to need any weapon to break this open. You can use your fist or you can use a hammer whatever. Whatever. you're just gonna need to hit it twice to break it open and once you go inside you're gonna find yourself five mint shards these mint shards do not respawn so the second you collect them up you're not gonna find these guys ever again and also whenever you're farming for candies in this video you also have a one percent chance drop to get the trinket which just adds a flat amount of elemental damage to all of your attacks if you're lucky enough you might get a trinket in whenever you're farming for these and the best of luck for you if you do there is also another location we can find in a single ice cap mint this one respawns i think every three in game days so make sure it'll come back every three game days to maximize on your candies it is here at the red ant hill just here on the map it is at the very bottom where also the burgle chip sits it's right here pick up this burgle chip as well as getting this ice cap mint there is also a single ice cap mint sitting here in the haze this area is pretty dangerous so i would recommend being prepared before getting this ice cap mint it is sitting here just right here on the map. It is in one of these trenches and this guy respawns once again every three in game days. And now we just ran straight to the next location right here with this other ice cap mint. It's in another trench and this guy respawns also every three in game days. Another ice cap mint box location is sitting here in the trash heap just here on the map in the very corner. If you see here, you're gonna find two ice cap mints. As far as I know, these guys do not respawn so make sure to collect them up. And once you do, they're not going to respawn. And now another location where you can find some ice cap mints is in this styrofoam cup right here. We are at the porch so we're just here on the map and we're going to find three ice cap mints once again if you break these these guys are not going to respawn another ice cap mint location is just here in the trenches at this little water puddle it's pretty easy to identify it's just sitting out in the open we are here in the upper yard trenches where we're going to find our next ice cap there are going to be two ice caps here so go ahead and break these guys up as far as i know i think only one of these guys respawn i think it's the one inside of the box that respawns i'm not too sure about this outside one respawning in another ice cap mint location we are here at the termites nest on the top we are in the very corner of the map as you can see just right here and we're going to find another ice cap mint box once again we're going to need to bust this open with two wax and there's going to be three ice cap mints in here once again if we farm up these things these guys are not going to respawn here is a location just in this pvc pipe here we are now at the stump in the top right corner of the map just right here in this pvc pipe we're going to find one ice cap mint one sour wormhole and one hot char char candy these guys do not respawn so once you collect them up they're not going to respawn another location where you're going to find two ice cap mints is sitting on top of the i don't know the wall retaining wall here before we were just down at that pvc pipe you're gonna need to do some parkour onto the wheelbarrow up all the way to this ladder and do some parkour tricks with this vine rope over here and you're gonna find this one area there's also a hidden key in this gum if you didn't know that but we are here on the map at this retaining wall just all the way up here it's a bit of a tricky one to get up here i'm not too sure if these guys respawn i'm not too sure about this one i don't come here very often and would you look at that we got our one percent trinket drop the suspicious ice cap that's actually pretty lucky i'm surprised we got it after all this time but there we go and now let's say if you went to those ice cap mints up there what you want to do is jump down to this ladder and you want to do a a big run and jump all the way down make sure you have a dandelion tough because you will die if you don't you're going to find another two ice cap mints sitting right here on the stump just be careful right below us is the wasp nest so it's going to be a bit of a struggle i am pretty sure these guys respawn so you're going to be able to come here every three in game days and now the final location of all of the known ice cap mint locations is sitting here in the fire ants nest it is sitting right here, right next to this little birch thing. It's pretty easy to identify. This is the massive room with all the quartzite. So once you go in here, you can just run straight down to where you're going to find this light with the gum and the char char candy. This one here does not respawn either. So once you collect it, it is gone forever. And now that we've done all the mint locations, let's go over and do all the char char candy locations. And as you've seen, right here right next to the ice cap mint we have a char char candy i think actually no this one does respawn i have seen this one respawn a few times so make sure to smash this one up collect it and it'll respawn every three in game days 
candies. And now another location where you're going to find yourself two Char Char candies is what right here at the stump. We're sitting on top of the stump just pretty far and as you can see another Char Char candy is right over there on the wall. That one's quite difficult to get to. You're going to need to do some parkour and like glide onto it but we'll be over there in just a second. These guys I don't think these guys respawn so once you break them open you're not going to be able to farm these guys ever again. And as you just saw we were just up there at that location. Now we're here at this other Char Char candy location. I've actually never farmed this one because I've just found it's not worth getting up here. It's sitting here on the retaining wall of the map on the top right corner. Go ahead and break this bad boy up. I'm not too sure if this guy respawns either so. And now we are here inside of the Brawny Boy bin. This location is going to be right next to this one blue ball. It is right next to the joystick uh, next to the pencil and the Tazy arm. What you're going to do is run behind the back of this Tazy and you're going to find two Char Char candies. For some odd reason these guys respawn every single in-game day which is a little bit crazy because everything in the Brawny Boy bin also respawns every single day. And now another Char Char candy location is sitting here on Wendell's chair. It is right here on the map right next to the ashtray. The way you get up here is you walk up this baseball bat and this Char Char candy will be right here. It's pretty dangerous though. There are a bunch of black ants and dust mites here that are going to attack you. And also this guy does respawn so make sure to come here every three in-game days to collect up your Char Char candy. And now we're back here at the top of the top of the termine's nest. Right here we have three Char Char candies. We've got two here and one there. These guys as far as I know do not respawn but that one over there respawns every three in-game days. So make sure you come back here and collect that one up. Another Char Char candy location is sitting here in the termite's nest. We are in the main area right next to the termite king's uh, little area. There is a Char Char candy right here just here on the map if you guys would like to know. This candy does not respawn so the second you collect it it's not going to be back here ever again. Another location you can find some Char Char candies is sitting here. There's only one that spawns here. This one does respawn. It's quite easy to find. It's right here in the trenches. Just right here, right next to the guiding glove, you'll be able to see the Char Char candy straight away. This one does respawn, as I just said, so make sure to collect this guy every three in-game days. And now we are here inside of the trash heap once more. There's a Char Char candy sitting right here on top of this styrofoam cup. The way you get this Char Char candy is you go to parkour all the way up to the top of this, um, the Billy Hog, like, little container. Parkour all the way across into this hole, and you'll be able to find this Char Char candy. As far as I know, this one does not respawn either. And now we have just moved into the top right corner of the bin. You're going to find a plate with the char char box on it what you want to do is go ahead and run behind it and you're going to find a single char char candy as well as far as i know once again this one does not respawn so the second you collect it you're never going to find it ever again now we're here in the top left corner of the bin and as you'll see there's going to be a orange peel here with a tissue and a dirty billy hog inside this can there is going to be another if i can get inside there is going to be another char char candy once again as far as i know this guy does not respawn so as you collect it you're never going to be able to find it ever again and the last location that is inside of the trash heap is right here in this broken pot it's pretty easy to find once again you're going to find these puncho box pretty much dead center in the middle with this broken pot and as far as i know once again this guy does not respawn so the second you break it it's never going to respawn here ever again and now we're here in the sandbox we're at the sand castle the way you get over here is you're going to need to build a little platform there and you're going to need to build a platform up and you're going to find this char char candy here as far as i'm aware this guy does not respawn either so once again as you break it you're never going to find it here ever again and now the final char char candy location is sitting here in the sandbox as well you're going to find this char char box just sitting in the sand you're going to need to kill this pit ant line right here just right here on the map so we're going to go ahead and kill this guy using some of our powers he has disappeared and these four locations there is going to be a bunch of different spawns you can get mint shards salt clusters rocks as well as char char candies and all of these four locations for the very first time you break Break these guys it's all going to be the four char char candies and now while we are in the sandbox we might as well go ahead and talk about all these salt locations salt is mainly found in the sandbox in these salt mines the way you go into these salt mines is you need to either kill this pit ant line right here just here on the map or you're going to need to go ahead and kill this other pit ant line right here there are two locations that you can go into so let's go ahead and kill one of these guys using some magic there we go he has disappeared and now we have full access into the salt mines. I think every three in-game days, these salt clusters are going to respawn. So let's go ahead and farm all of these guys up. Just be warned, there are also two ant lions in here. And now one thing to keep in mind, this exact salt cluster that is near the ceiling, make sure you don't stand really close to it when you're breaking it. Otherwise, these salt clusters are going to spawn in the ceiling and you won't be able to grab them. There are also a few other locations where you can find some salt clusters, just from, not from the sandbox, mainly on plastic forks. So the very first fork here is sitting inside of the trenches near the termite stand. There's going to be three salt clusters 
just sitting right here and these guys are going to respawn every three in-game days as well and another location where you can find salt is once again on this plastic fork just sitting here on the map we are right next to the bicycle it's pretty easy to identify as the white fork once again these guys respawn every three in-game days so make sure to come back here every three days to collect these guys up and now the final location where you guys can find some salt clusters is just sitting here on the plate of the picnic table we are just here on the map on this picnic table and now we're going to go ahead and do the final candy locations the sour wormhole candies these guys you're going to need a tier 3 black ox hammer to break them and this candy here is sitting on top of wendell's full size scabby just here on the map another location where you can find one single sour wormhole is we are sitting underneath the java matic just here on the map and now a sour wormhole jackpot is sitting here inside of its capsule we are here right next to the toolbox and right next to the boring boy bin just here on the map inside of this we're going to i think it's six sour wormholes in total and once you break these guys up these guys are not going to respawn so the second you break them it's not going to respawn ever again and now we are back in the boring boy bin once again these guys respawn every single day the second you run into the boring boy bin just do a quick 180 and into this corner you're going to find a milk molar and a single sour wormhole just sitting right here and the other location for the boring boy bin is sitting right here in the sour wormhole rocket bottle there are two sour wormholes that spawn in here and once again these guys respawn every single in-game day another location where you can find one single sour wormhole is sitting here inside of this pot just here on the map right next to the rubbish just be wary if you do plug the haze there is going to be infected fungal growth and enemies here another location where you can find a single sour wormhole sitting right here on top of the stump this one's a bit tricky to get to you're going to need to parkour a bunch of the stump just to get this one sour wormhole i don't think this is worth it just getting this single one another location where you can find a bunch of sour wormholes for in fact is in the sour wormhole rocket here we are just outside of the fire ants nest just here on the map once you break these guys up they're not going to respawn so another sour wormhole location is sitting right here inside of the fire ants nest what you're going to need to do is go ahead and you have a tier 2 axe to break this dead roots here after you do that you're going to be able to get this sour wormhole this guy does respawn so you can collect this as many times as you'd like oh hello, hello there <laughs> the next location where you can find a single sour wormhole this guy does respawn we are sitting on top of the broken stump right next to where you can find thor's pendant it is just here on the map it is quite difficult to get up here so i don't think it's even worth getting this one sour wormhole the next location where you can find a single sour wormhole candy is sitting right here in the moldog highlands just here on the map you'll be able to find a single sour wormhole candy and the next location for a sour wormhole is just sitting alone on top of the fence here it is right here on the map just on this fence line you are going to need to either park or up it or you're going to need to build up it and another location where you can find two sour wormhole candies is sitting right here on this pink little toy car it is right here on the map these sour wormhole candies do not respawn so once again as you collect these guys up they will not respawn here ever again another location where you can find a single sour wormhole candy is sitting right here underneath moldor castle the way you get up here is you're going to need to do some parkour across this pagoda onto this little thing and then you need to parkour up it as well or you can just build up it the next sour wormhole location is sitting here alone on this rock it is right next to the black widow's den just here on the map so be careful and the next location where you can find a single sour wormhole candy once again is just down from the other location this guy does in fact respawn every three in game days so make sure to click this one up and the final location for the sour wormhole candies is just this one sitting right here this one does in fact respawn we are sitting here just outside of moldock's castle let's see if we get lucky enough and get the trinket here and no we did not and that there is going to do it for today's video guys i went ahead and showed you guys almost all of the candy locations and we have almost a full stacked inventory from just one day's worth of farming if you guys like me to do a buried treasure guide video please let me know down below in the comments and i will have that out and ready for you guys in the coming days but if you guys are watching up to this exact point in this video please make sure to leave a like and a subscribe or even a comment and i'll catch you guys in the next video